viewers the latest news about ethiopia amhara and tigray region is that viewers according to the reports received from ethiopian military sources and ethiopian media that ethiopian national defense force and its allies have gained control over the boldia kobo sanka sirkinka gobia and hara towns yesterday evening ethiopian media claimed that the ethiopian national defense force and its allies had gained control over marsa and girana and claimed that ethiopian national defense force now moving towards boldia after gaining control over marsa and now reports are being received that the ethiopian national defense force and its allies have gained control over boldia kobo sanka sirkinka gobia and hara towns but no evidence has yet been given by ethiopian national defense force and ethiopian sources regarding any claim no photo or video has been shared by ethiopian national defense force and ethiopian media yet to prove the claims made by ethiopian national defense force porters and ethiopian media to be true but just a while ago it has been claimed by ethiopian national defense force sources that ethiopian national defense force soldiers and its allies have gained control over boldia kobo sanka sirkinka gobia and hara towns after gained control over marsa and so far no report has been submitted by the tigray defense force and the tigray government about these claims viewers and today again new round of air strikes hit the city of alamata in southern tigray for the third day in a row the city is being bombarded by the ethiopian air forces jets and drones and due to the attack so far 40 plus civilians died and 100 plus severely injured and ethiopian president salez wede hinted that opening a national dialogue to resolve her government's ongoing conflict with the tigray people's liberation front and she was visiting ivory coast seeking collaboration with african nations to help and instability in ethiopia after war broke out in november 2020 we was miss mrs zavide denied allegations of a genocide against the tigray peoples after prime minister abiy ahmed ordered a military offensive against the tigray peoples liberation front which he accuses of separatism we was earlier this year institute for peace and security studies founder malogeta accused the ethiopian army of carrying out genocide by decree no war is simple as long as it is a war between us there is no external occupation or external aggression so it is a painful episode this is said by and but a uh, genocide must be determined it there are criteria that unfortunately must be fulfilled but we do not have all that and we are moving forward the situation is stabilizing and we will soon have a national dialogue that will determine the future of the country said by mr zavide viewers on the other hand according to the latest reports all sides in the deepening conflict in northern ethiopia region our committing several human rights violations the united nations said on friday calling for them to pull back from their year old war an estimated 5000 to 7000 people are detained including nine united nations staff member under a state of emergency 
and its excessively broad provision declared by the government last month the united nation deputy high commissioner for human rights nada al nashif said many are detained in communado or in unknown locations this is tantamount to enforce disappearance and a matter of very grave alarm she told a special session of the united nation human rights council in geneva and ethiopia's ambassador to the council zinibe kabide did not comment directly on the accusation of detentions but told the un body it had failed to condemn what he said was a series of abuses by rebellious forces from the northern tigray region and ethiopia is being targeted and singled out at the human rights council for defending a democratically elected government and the peace and the future of its people he said in a speech during the session thousands of civilians have died and millions fled in the conflict between the federal government and the forces loyal to the tigray people's liberation front which dominated ethiopia's ruling coalition for nearly 30 years and the united nations al nashif told the council the latest arrest including included 83 people detained by local forces this week in guji zone of romia region under the government's state of emergency and a further 1500 people of tigray and gumaz ethnicity were reportedly detained last week in asosa banishungal gumaz region she added i also deplore increasing hate speech and incitement to violence by federal and regional authorities as well as other public figures particularly targeted against tigrayans and members of the romo community al nashif said the form will considered a draft resolution brought by the european union that condemns violations committed by all sides and if adopted would set up an international commission of rights experts on ethiopia to investigate further and report back after a year and ethiopia's zinibe rejected the resolution and said the government would not work with any such commission he added that the state appointed ethiopian human rights commission had already worked with the united nation rights council to investigate accusations of abuses and was ready to do so again and a joint investigation published last month by the un human rights office and the ethiopian human rights commission found that all sides in tigray's conflict had committed violations that may amount to war crimes so viewers so far the latest update for more latest update please subscribe channel thanks for watching